Sclerotinia white mold is a disease that can affect a number of different broadleaf crops. It's a fungus, so we want to do everything we can to stop this fungus, but in addition to spraying a fungicide, there are also some fertility things that we want you to look at. We're going to talk today about how you can best stop or at least reduce the chance for white mold on your farm this year. One of the biggest nutrients in terms of protecting your crop from white mold appears to be manganese. We've seen studies over the years about, well, more manganese in the soil means less white mold, but we've seen it firsthand too in recent years where building up soil manganese levels is important. On a DTPA test, now, you may not know all those letters and everything, but look at your soil test and see what extraction method they're using to determine how many nutrients there are in the soil. On a DTPA extraction method, we want to see at least 20 parts per million of manganese and up to 40 parts per million would be okay as well. Well, that's on a Midwest Labs test, so different labs are going to interpret things different and they're especially going to run the extraction methods maybe a little longer or a little shorter. So on a Midwest Labs DTPA test, 20 to 40. Okay, the next thing is when I start thinking about white mold, the biggest thing I'm thinking about is drainage and fertility overall. So if I have good drainage, my soil is a little bit drier and I am less likely to get the mushrooms where sclerotinia starts. It starts from a mushroom, the mushroom shoots spores out, and those typically will go in where the flowers have just died. That's the easiest entry point. So it doesn't usually come in until the reproductive stages of these different broadleaf crops. And in terms of the fertility side, it usually is going to strike where you have the most fertile ground because you've got the biggest canopy there. And even if you're not getting rain, you don't have to have rain. You just need some dew and just conditions where some mushrooms would start, then you're gonna have white mold. What organic producers are doing is trying to go out with a timely cultivation right before bloom uh, in soybeans, for example, and knock out any of those mushrooms. Now, here's the problem with that. More mushrooms are going to come later on, so you'd have to make multiple applications with a cultivator if you really wanted to protect your field season long. However, if we can just knock out that first flush of those mushrooms, we can at least slow down the white mold and your impact on yield is less. All right, but let's talk about something that most people are actually going to do. In soybeans, we'd suggest cobra right before flowering, maybe a lower rate, four to eight ounces. Once you hit flower, we really would like you to spray either Endura or Proline. Those are the two very best products. Now, certainly there are many other choices out there, but Endura and Proline, Endura is one, Proline is close behind it at number two. One other thing to keep in mind is you'll probably have to make multiple applications. Depending on what the weather does, you're probably gonna see white mold throughout that season. For us in our soybeans, for example, we'll go out at R1, at R3, and even at R5 with a third application if the weather conditions favor white mold. And the big thing is, by the time you see it, uh, you're too late for spraying the fungicide, so you gotta be out ahead of things. The other thing that I'll tell you is as we go into this spring here, you're not gonna solve this with varietal resistance. There are no varieties that we know of in any crop that are completely resistant to sclerotinia white mold, so you've gotta manage things accordingly. Well, sclerotinia white mold can be a big problem in a number of different crops. Follow our guidelines with fertility by improving your manganese levels, and then work on fungicide applications throughout the season and the other methods that we mentioned today. Whether you stop white mold or not, you still could have our Weed of the Week. We'll tell you how to control this tough weed coming up next. <music>